Yeah, thank you for coming. Uh, so today we'll be talking about the topic here, best can practice BCP number 38 uh, about ingress filtering for security. Uh, my name is Ahmad Pardiansa and then I'm from uh, GLC Networks Indonesia. So here is our agenda. So introduction, review some stuff, uh, doing uh, discussing some network attacks, uh, BCP 38 and then some uh, some some uh, discussion uh, about the, how to mitigate the how to accommodate BCP thirty uh, eight in a microtic uh, uh, device. Okay. Okay. Introduction. So we are GLC Gadalintas Cakrawala. We are based in Bandung, Indonesia. We are doing training in IT consulting. We are certified partner for Microtech Ubiquiti uh, Linux uh, Foundation, uh, GLC Radius Manager. Uh, we uh, we develop a GLC Radius Manager, and then we do regular event for uh, uh, like like we're doing today. Uh, uh, yeah, the webinar. Uh, my name is Ahmad Mardiansha. I'm based in Bandung. I'm a user of uh, uh, any uh, technologies like uh, Linux uh, programming, PHP, Python, uh, database as well. Okay. And then I also uh, write some articles in uh, some uh, uh, websites. And then if you have LinkedIn, and then we can connect here. All right. So past experience, we do network support, uh, building integration, yeah, uh, uh, network upgrades and uh, network um, optimization. Yeah, uh, either wired or wireless. Okay, so yeah, please check our website for details. Okay, and then about the GLC webinar, we started in since 2010. Uh, and then uh, if you want to be a presenter here, you're very welcome. Okay, so since not so many people coming today, I can see some are following the webinar through YouTube. Okay, uh, that's nice. Okay. Right. I can see some of some of the people are watching via YouTube. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, if you don't mind, you can just introduce yourself here. Uh, introduce yourself where you are from so that we know where you are. Uh, prerequisites. Uh, yeah, uh, this is not uh, beginner topics. At least you need to have some knowledge in order to understand the topics uh, clearly. So we assume you already know uh, how computer network works. At least you know how uh, how the routing works, uh, and then how to design a network. Okay, you know what's the difference between a public IP address and then private IP address. Okay, uh, the routing, either static routing, uh, a dynamic routing, and then of course because we talk about the microtech, we also assume you already know how to use microtech router OS. Okay. Okay, so let's do review. So we already know that uh, in uh, computer networking, we have uh, seven OC layer and protocols. So that in every uh, layers, we have protocols and then the protocol is a set of rules for communication. Uh, we have a series of uh, a process of encapsulation started from the top layer to the bottom. Okay, so here is the encapsulation process so the data from upper layer here okay will be wrapped with the header uh, uh, down to the uh, lower layer before it sends to the, uh, uh, the media okay either through fiber optic uh, through a copper wire or through wireless uh, links okay so uh, if you want to see the details in every header so this is how it looks like okay we are not talking details about this, uh, just uh, for your information. This is a uh, layer four, either it's TCP or UDP. This is layer three, either it's uh, IPv4 or IPv6. 
uh, this is layer two. We have uh, lots of option in with in layer two, like internet or uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, so all of them together uh, creates a, a process of encapsulation. Okay, so uh, in layer three, we also know about the addressing a uh, layer two as well. So, uh, layer two is more on the local addressing, but the layer three is end to end. Okay. Uh, and then here's the specification of uh, IP uh, defined in RFC 791. Uh, and then this is how the layer three looks like. We have a network park and then we have a host bar. Okay. Uh, in the long time ago, we were using a class full uh, IP address. So the, there was a class A, class B, class C, but we don't use it anymore. Okay. So uh, we are using classless. Uh, uh, addressing. So, uh, so there is no class A, B, or C. Um, yeah, so if you have a network and then you have to put the subnet mask uh, explicitly, like slash 17, slash 25, slash 20, slash 12, slash whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, that's how the uh, VLSM works. And then because we are using VLSM, free LSM, and then the, in order to do routing, and then the routing should support CIDR, classless interdomain routing, okay? So we are routing a network based on the uh, prefix, okay? So yeah, uh, it was in RFC 191519, okay? Which was a long time ago. And then, so we know that the difference between router and routing, router is the device, routing is the process, okay? Uh, they are working based on the layer three information, which is the layer three header, okay? So uh, when a packet arrive to a router, for example, to go outside, so the router always check the layer three header, especially the destination IP and then the source IP. Okay, so the first is destination IP address, so that we know to which interface we are forwarding the packet. Okay, so this is uh, how we design the network. Okay, uh, yeah, first we combine between layer two and layer three. The red one is uh, layer two, uh, layer three is the blue one. Okay, so this is how it looks like, how we combine uh, them to each other. Okay, and then uh, first is we set up the physical connection or AKA physical topology. Okay, I, uh, yeah, it's a physical physical map of the of your network. Okay, uh, here's the cable from this port to that port. Okay, uh, here's the link from here to there, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's the physical topology. Uh, next, after that, you need to set up a logical topology. Okay. Um, yeah, logical topology. So uh, here, meaning that uh, you are focusing on layer three. So there is no layer two information here. We, uh, we don't see uh, where the switch is, uh, the access point, and so on and so forth. Uh, there is no layer two information here because we are just focusing on layer three. Okay, so here's the network, network, uh, network. So only 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 the network okay that is shown here so here we call it a logical topology this is just a refreshing okay uh, for uh, review the uh, past uh, information past knowledge okay uh, and then uh, when a package arrive in the network uh, okay so there is a, a process uh, for uh, to determine the where the package should go okay uh, here uh, we are using a, a, a IP address, uh, I mean, the router, uh, router uh, routing table, okay? Uh, and then on the tables, we have uh, information where to forward the packets based on the, based on the uh, destination. So this is how, this is how the uh, network uh, look like, okay? So if you want to go with this, you go there. Uh, if you want to go to this uh, destination and then here's the gateway, okay? And so on and so forth. All right. So, uh, 
yeah, uh, at least you need to understand how the routing works, okay? Uh, routing uh, happens in the routing decision. So after the pre-routing or after the uh, local process output. Okay, so that's where the routing table lookup happens. Okay, so this is uh, how uh, we determine the gateway, okay, based on the destination and then the distance. So, uh, yeah, again, uh, the criteria is the prefix length, and then if the, the prefix length is same, and then the lowest distance wins. Uh, and then here are the example of uh, administrative distance of each uh, routing protocol. Okay, so, uh, uh, regarding the static routing, uh, we, we set up the routing uh, statically or dynamically. Uh, statically means you go to every router and then uh, you need to uh, yeah, add the routing or modify the routing uh, uh, manually. Yeah? <laughs> Uh, but for dynamic routing, it's not, okay? Uh, you just run the routing protocol, RIP, OSPF, or BGP. Um, yeah, uh, and after that, they are talking to each other and then they, they develop the routing table. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's the same thing happens in the network. Uh, so we have, we have AS, this is how the internet works. Okay, so every uh, company, every organization that wants to connect to the internet, they must have a AS number, okay? And then they are, they are connecting to each other. Here, for example, here's the interconnection uh, link between uh, organizations. So one AS is one organization. Okay. That's the AS. Uh, and then there must be a, a, a body or organization at international level that manage those, those things, yeah? Yes, it is true, it's called IANA, okay? Internet Assigned Number Authority, okay? Uh, so addressing has to be unique, okay? So <laughs> you cannot just, oh, okay, uh, this IP address is cool, so 8888, so can I just use it? No, no, you cannot. <laughs> Okay, so so uh, yeah, so there is a there is a international body that is managing that that regulates the IP address allocation. Yeah, so that that body is called IANA. Uh, okay, uh, that manages the IP address. Uh, IANA delegates to RIR. Okay, regional inter, uh, region, uh, internet registry, which are APNIC, RIP, NCC, uh, based on your location. Uh, in uh, Africa, we have uh, AFRINIC, uh, Latin America, we have LACNIC, North America, we have uh, ARID. So how many bodies, one, two, how many organizations? One, two, three, four, five, okay? So five, five organizations. So we are in Indonesia, yeah, this is Indonesia. So uh, we are, uh, 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 APNIC is, is managing the IP address for Asia and Pacific, okay? So they are based in Brisbane over here. And then APNIC usually delegates the uh, 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 allocation to, to, to country. Okay, so that's how, how you get your uh, IP address, okay, from the network. Uh, yeah, so um, after you get IP address and then you can connect to the internet. And then uh, one thing that you need to know is uh, routing. Okay, so there are two types of routing. So either it can be symmetrical or asymmetric. So for example, this, oops. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so for example, this is uh, customer A wants to talk to customer B. Okay, so we have, uh, if uh, outgoing goes this way, and then uh, the reply goes uh, in the same, same direction, okay. And that is called symmetric routing, okay? So uh, outgoing, outbound, and inbound is using in the same path, okay? So it's using this interface uh, uh, if in the case of router one, okay? In router three as well, same, same interface. So incoming and outgoing, they are using same interface, but, but 
sometimes routing is asymmetric okay so the path for going out is different when the for and the path for incoming back so here outgoing and incoming they are using uh, a different interface so that's why it's called asymmetric routing okay so yeah uh, this is important to know because uh if you only have one upstream one isp to connect to the internet of course there's always uh, symmetric routing but if you are uh, if your organization is bigger and then you connect to more than one isp uh it's more likely you will have an asymmetric routing okay uh and then we have a private ip public ip and NAT. okay so so this is your router okay and then this is your lan and this is your one okay here and there uh, in lan you are using private ip here for a public ip you are using on your uh, public interface over here okay so uh, when your packet coming out go there okay and then yeah, people now uh, people will see it's coming from this IP, IP one, for example. Yeah, so this is internet. So people in the internet will see, oh, okay, it's a request coming from this IP address. So there must be a, a process to translate, okay, to translate the private IP to become public IP. Okay, so and then that process requires uh, CPU processing. Okay, and then yeah, uh, that's how the uh, IP uh, NAT works. Okay, so basically the NAT is used to convert to translate the private IP to public IP. Uh, if we don't use NAT, and then we are running out the IP address long, long time ago in 1990s. Okay, yeah. So let's talk about network attack. So I I got uh, uh, this yeah this is very small okay I know <laughs> uh, yeah uh, actually this is uh, uh, this this picture is from jaffin.com so uh, yeah if if you want you can you can contact uh, jaffin.com to see the more details about the about about the the, the uh, the map here so yeah um yeah so i took it uh in the in a distance so that it will not uh yeah not i uh, cannot be seen uh, clearly but uh, as you can see so we can see that uh, this is a network security map okay and then here's the layer okay all right and then uh, on every layer we have we have issue okay so we have issue uh, yeah this is column for a top thread this is column for tcp ip vulnerability and then here's the anti-malware column okay and then this is ids ips a triple a and the firewall vpn and then here's the layer defense so as you can see uh, over here is talking about the issue okay the problem that is happening in the network okay uh, for example we have a top thread the window system cross-platform uh, uh, application uh, networking widely used uh, attack so um, yeah uh, as you can see this is layer three right yeah this is layer three right so there are there are many uh, uh, attack or problem happening in layer three. One of them is is DDoS. Okay, uh, yeah. So DDoS means uh, somebody is uh, sending lots of requests to a target IP address so that uh, the <laughs> so so that the, the target IP address uh, is is overload and then. Uh, people cannot open that uh, they uh, cannot access the server okay so for example uh, we have a web server and then somebody we have a web server 
and then on that web server we have a website and then uh, we generate lots of requests to that particular website and then because there are lots of uh, requests and then every request requires a resource to handle that what i mean resource means is 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 uh, is um, cpu uh, ram and then uh, hard disk okay so those three things so if if i'm talking about the computing resource it means that it's cpu ram and then hard disk so uh, those resources in the, our server are limited if we are keep coming receiving uh, requests and then we have to allocate resources and then uh, after the resource you say reached the limit and then uh, our website is not available anymore yeah so that's the purpose for for DDoS attack, yeah. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, uh, there there are lots of issue in 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 networking. I'm sorry, this is too small. Yeah, but uh, again, the thing here is uh, I just want to inform you that uh, there there are many 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 issues in 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 networking. Okay. So as you can as can be seen here. And then on on every layer events, yeah, uh, we can do uh, mitigation for that. Okay, start from the layer one up to uh, layer seven. Uh, that can be yeah, that includes the firewall, the uh, yeah, for usually firewall, the VPN, the encryption, and IDS, IPS, and so on and so forth. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the BCP thirty eight. What is BCP38? So BCP stands for best current practice here. Okay, so who creates the BCP ITF? Okay, that's the ITF. So ITF creates RFC. And then some of the RFC is classified as BCP best current practice they creating uh, the bcp started from bcp number one two three four five whatever you can check the bcp index here okay and then today we'll be talking about the bcp 38 okay which was uh, created in uh, the year 2000 okay and then so the topic here is the network ingress uh, filtering. Okay, defeating, defeating uh, the DOS, okay, which employs IP source address spoofing. Okay, it's from Ferguson, uh, May 2000. Okay, so it's a long time ago. So format is here. And then, yeah, it's RFC. Uh, 2827, yeah. So BCP is a collection of uh, RFC for uh, BCP, yeah, uh, with various topics. So as you can see, there are lots of topics here, a little DHCP, SMTP, uh, yeah, and, and, and other topics. Okay, so that was the BCP. So at least you know what the BCP is. <clears throat> uh, next is the BCP. BCP um, BCP thirty eight okay so uh, actually there is no RFC name BCP thirty eight no no so it's just a number okay <laughs> just number that okay we have a BCP and then uh, and then we we put an, we should put the number here so that we know which one. Okay, so because previously it was 37, now it's 38. Okay, and then uh, in BCP 38 here, uh, it it is uh, from it, it is made from uh, RFC 2827. So which is this one 2827 here? Okay, and then so it's uh, about the network ingress filtering. Okay, uh, that's for that's for yeah a network ingress filtering for for a router that connects to the internet or 
or uh, also RFC 3704 here. Yeah. Okay, this one. So this is ingress filtering as well, but for multi-home network. So this is for ISP. Uh, yeah, ISP more likely the ISP is has has a multiple connection. Yeah, so that's why uh, we have the RFC here uh, for three three seven zero four. Okay. Oops. Yeah, so uh, this is how the BCP 38 is, is, is implemented, yeah? So BCP 38 is just a, a numbering for best current practice, but for implementation, for detailed implementation, you can check in to 8 So uh, if you open the 2827, yeah, I can display it here. Okay, so it, it displays how the how the PC uh, how the RFC is 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 discussing. Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, IETF, and then this is RFC two eight two seven. Here's the title. Okay, and then uh, it was done in uh, uh, two thousand. Yeah, it's a long time ago, but still relevant up to now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here's the introduction. Yeah, okay. So here is the here is the 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 the, the scenario. Okay, so this is your host. Okay, this is your router, and then here's the internet. Okay, and then here is the attacker router. Okay, and then this is the router IP address. So when the attacker when attacker attack your host. Okay. Okay, so uh, they are using their source IP address is from here. Okay, so their source, source IP address is, has to be this one. Okay, yeah, because that's their IP address, yeah. Oh, okay, so that we know, oh, okay, so you're from this IP address, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, you are not, you're doing uh, not good on my network, yeah? So you're doing nasty on my network. So I have to block you, okay? So I, I and then I, I will report your IP address uh, saying that uh, your IP address is doing uh, a bad things on, on my networks, okay? So I just blacklist your, 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 your IP address, okay? But the attacker is clever. <laughs> so instead of, uh, using their original IP address, okay? So when they do sync here, they're using this source IP address. They're using this source IP address, see? So they're changing their source IP address to this one. Yeah, clever, eh? See? So that our router, when our router see the, the package, incoming package saying that, oh, okay, Oh, this one is okay, this one is okay. Okay, so I just allow them to hear. So as you can see, this kind of uh, pub, uh, IP address is usually uh, on LAN IP address, right? Okay, this is LAN, this is one, correct? Yeah, so this is one interface, this is LAN interface. And then the source IP address is from the LAN. Uh, can, you, can you get it? Yeah, so again, this is your router. And then this is your one interface. And then on this one interface, you receive a package where the source IP address is actually from here. This is, doesn't make sense. Okay, so they're, they're spoofing, okay? It's a fake IP address, it's, it's spoofing IP address. So they are pretending like an imposter. Uh, you get it, yeah? Yeah, so that's how they do. So they are hiding their original IP address here. So they are, uh, how can they do that? They, they, they can just do programming and then send the request and then, okay, I will use this uh, IP address as a source address, okay? So, but 
when they send, uh, the package cannot reply back to here. Yeah, that's the propose because it's wrong address. Yeah, that's the propose <laughs> to attack. Yeah, so they are sending lots of TCP sync. And then here, the server, the server will uh, receive lots of uh, IP address, uh, lots of requests here, sync requests. And then every request needs to be, uh, to, needs, uh, requires uh, allocation of resources. Uh, CPU, RAM, uh, hard disk, uh, yeah, if you want to uh, write some logs, right, like in Apache Web Server or Nginx. Uh, and then uh, your resources is limited. And then th when the uh, limit is reached, and then your server is un unavailable. Okay, so that's how the DDoS uh, is, is done. Okay, so how to do that? Well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it depends on the implementation so that uh, we can do, we can do a source filtering here. Okay, so if, so how, how to mitigate this one? Yeah, we do filtering here, inbound, filtering meaning meaning so in the beginning in the beginning we only we just every router is only checking the destination ip address okay and then the destination ip address is this one okay that's fine but with inbound filtering we also check the source ip address okay whether they are coming from from uh, uh IP address that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so if if they receive packets here in the one interface, and then the source IP address is actually from the LAN interface, and then we just drop the package here. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay, so as you can see, host is the targeted machine. Okay, everyone clear? Yeah. Okay, so that's how the uh, BCP38 uh, um, is about, okay? So somebody is pretending uh, an IP address uh, and then they just want to send uh, a fake uh, source IP address to, yeah, and then that, that, that practice is called spoofing. Okay, so that was BCP38. And then uh, in Microtik, okay, uh, we can, uh, BCP38 on Microtik. So there are some, 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 uh, some uh, support for uh, Microtik uh, regarding BCP38. Okay, so this is reverse path uh, filtering, RFC 3804, uh, which is this one. RP means reserve, uh, reverse path filtering, which means this one. So in the beginning, uh, the default is no, but you can activate. Uh, yeah, there are several options here. A no for a source, no source validation. Strict, it applies strict reverse path. Loose is uh, applies loose reverse path. Okay, so so uh, this is uh, this is for symmetric. Yeah, this is for symmetric routing. So strict means the packets coming from here, outgoing is here, incoming is this one here. Okay. Yeah, so as I said, uh, this is an example of, uh, this is your router and this is your your network, okay? Okay, and then uh, the correct IP address is, uh, so this is your, uh, yeah, this is your, your, your uh, destination IP address. Okay, so from here, you want to connect to here. 
So it means that the destination IP address is this one, but the source IP address is this one. Okay. So this is for request for outgoing for incoming. So this is for out outbound, and this is for inbound. Uh, the uh, the IP address is swap. Okay. So for inbound, so destination will be here. Okay, and then the source address will be this one. Okay. So this is the correct uh, packet. But for spoof address, okay, so destination is this one. Oh, sorry, destination is, uh, yeah, destination maybe is for this one here, but the source is from here, okay? There's something in your LAN interface, yeah. Okay, so again, uh, yeah, this one is, is quite uh, useful for mitigating the the the, the uh, DDoS uh, attack that is using a spoof IP address. Okay, uh, again, if it is symmetric, use strict mode. If it is asymmetric routing, use loose. Okay, so that's one one way. Another way is a TCP sync cookies. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, that is to to um, yeah prevent against a common sync flood attack. Okay, but uh, my uh, yeah I have I have I have an experience where the attacker is 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 using UDP. <laughs> so can you imagine? Yeah, uh, UDP. So, so I have a web server, okay? Web server is running TCP port 80, okay? But the attacker is attacking UDP port 80, yeah? So there is no service running on this port, but we receive lots of requests on this, on this, uh, 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 a port, yeah, even though it reads nothing, but but it generates lots of traffic. Yeah, yeah, it happens. <laughs> there is no service on UDP port eighty, but there are lots of incoming traffic goes through this port. Yeah, it happens. Okay, so uh, target, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the UDP. Uh, I mean, that's the sorry, not the UDP. That's the uh, one example of uh, of of a DDoS attack. Okay. So uh, others is you can use oh okay so you can use row yeah so I, I forgot to add the one a filter filter row yeah so you can add. A row filter in the one interface. Yeah, so this is your router. Okay, this is one. This is LAN. Yeah, you can apply. You can apply. A row, uh, um, row rules here. Okay, which is saying that okay, it's if 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 the source. Is if the source IP address is coming from the one, and then just drop here. Okay. Row is is recommended uh, instead of filter. Why? Because uh, it will not use uh, CPU CPU uh, CPU processing. Okay, so yeah, we can save CPU for that. Okay, so. That was it. So uh, I will I will update the slides. Okay, to add one things for the CPU. Well, I think uh, that's all for now. Okay, so if you are interested, just come to our training. Yeah. So yeah, in our training, the topics are arranged in systematic and logical way. Uh, you will learn from the experienced teacher. Not only learn the materials, but also do 
uh, uh, sharing experience, uh, best practice, and then networking with uh, other participants. Okay. Uh, yeah, some uh, messages here. Yeah, thank you for your attention. Um, the, yeah, if you don't mind, you can submit your feedback in our uh, address here. Um, yeah, further events will be available in GLC Networks. Yeah, most likely on uh, uh, Thursday. Uh, yeah, in case uh, we don't have any 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 um, issue on that uh, that uh, day. Uh, sometimes, uh, if the health condition was not uh, possible to do, and then the webinar will be off. But we will uh, inform you uh, in the in the uh, regarding webinar through a mailing list. A uh, slide will be available on SlideShare. Uh, yeah, um, information for a message also about the uh, event will be available on Facebook. Slide will be available on SlideShare. Discord is available in Bahasa Indonesia. And then recording will be available on YouTube. All right, so I think uh, that's all for today. Uh, any questions? No questions. Okay, so if not, and then uh, I think uh, if you don't mind, we can uh, we can. Oops, sorry. <laughs> we can take a photo session. Okay, let me update my background. Yeah, so that it will not. Oh, big address to update the background. Okay, here it is. Yeah, okay, so if you don't mind, so you can turn on your camera and then I will count uh, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, and three. Yeah. One more, one, two, and three. Yoo yeah. <laughs> okay, the guys, so uh, if there is no questions and then, yeah, I think it's time to, to stop. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, see you in the next webinar. Okay, good day and have a nice day.